Time to head to the voicemail of truth and reason. Uh, this one, a little bit about Baker Mayfield, but a lot about that extension for Denzel Ward. Hey, big fan. I watch the show every day. Um, just the thing, I'm just tired of hearing about the whole Baker Mayfield situation. He's the past. Can we move on to the future, the future Browns? And uh, with that, so since Denzel got his extension and uh, Najoku's probably next in line, who would you guys say or who would you think would be the next to receive an extension on our team? Uh, just want to hear your guys' thoughts. Have a good day. Go Browns. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. And um, Hayden, I, I get people talking about the Baker Mayfield situation. The reason it's important is, uh, one, the $18 million that it holds on the cap. Two, how are you going to resolve it? And three, you might even get an asset for it. So from that standpoint, that's why we talk about Baker Mayfield, just seeing where the resolution is and how the um, organization can potentially use the cap room. Um, Denzel Ward loved the extension. Next guy, you know, we had to think about this. It's probably David Njoku, who they franchise tagged, and they're trying to find a way to extend. Other than that, most of the people that you'd want to extend that are eligible have been extended. You look at Wills, he's still on it. You know, JOK is, is a rookie kind of guy that's got a couple of years. Wills still has a couple of years. Uh, Conklin is kind of, you know, a guy that's under contract that you might think about restructuring. But Njoku, is that who you're thinking? That, that's the only one that came to mind for us. Yeah, and Joku is the only one that comes to my mind. I mean, you have Greg Newsom, who was a first-round pick under contract for a while. You have JOK under contract for a while. So those are probably two other guys that, you know, would very in the near future be under big consideration. Uh, Kareem Hunt also comes to mind because, you know, he was restructured or he had a an extension, but it wasn't a very big one. So if he continues to be what he's been for the Browns, he could definitely be next in uh, on that list too. So uh, those are the names that I think about for sure. But I, I kind of agree with the caller. I wish Baker Mayfield the best wherever he goes. I do. Um, I think he wants to move on. I think the Browns want to move on. I don't know, you know, what, what we're waiting for in terms of a resolution here. Um, you know, it's it's not worth talking about anymore. The situation is over. Um, we can look at hypotheticals all we want. But, you know, what remains is that Baker Mayfield is going to find a home somewhere. Uh, and I wish him the best wherever he goes, but I agree with the caller. It's time to move on. I hope I wish the Browns would do the same because it's just the more that it lingers, the more it kind of just puts a, you know, a dark cloud above everything. So I think Baker would want, you know, to be in a new situation soon. I think the Browns would want him to be in a new situation, which, you know, is why I'm just confused to why nothing has happened and, and they haven't made a move yet. But, um, you know, again, wish him very, very, very well. And, uh, we'll, you know, we'll see him down the road and, uh, has, he, you're right. It's, it's time to move on. Uh, it, it's a matter of timing because um, they'll be able to get something. It won't be it won't be a huge return. They'll be able to get something. And um, again, Andrew Berry is going to be respectful of Baker Mayfield. Look at what he did with Odell Beckham Jr. in, in the release. So um, they have a history of, of treating people fairly. And I think they're waiting until Baker Mayfield's a starting quarterback in the NFL, and I think the Browns feel that way. That's why they're trying to get some sort of return for him.